All right, guys, we are back. We are going to look at the spring results here, and we're going to do a little spring game kind of situation in practice mode. And because we got some position battles, we got some guys that we are going to take a look at here, and uh, some also some news. Um, we had a halfback. Tay Williams, he didn't play much last year for us, but he actually put on 32 pounds in the weight room this past uh, year. So he wants to try to be a little bigger of a role. Uh, it's going to be tough, though. I mean, we do have Darius and Trace Christian that are going to be battling for the starting spot, which is one of our position battles we're going to be looking at during this practice session of the spring game, so to speak. Um, but... He wants to uh, become more of a factor, so we'll see if we can get him on the field, depending on how he plays. We also have a defensive tackle, Michael Swift. He was a DN last year. We talked to him. We said, you know, we'd like you to move over to the interior. And knowing that, he added 51 pounds this offseason. So he went from DN to D tackle, and he's going to be looking at a starting spot there. Uh, at least trying to get a starting role there. If not, a probably an important reserve. And we had Jonathan Coleman second, who uh, was a strong safety for us. He actually added 43 pounds in the offseason. So these are all things that just happened in the game. I was just taking a look at updating my roster in Excel, and I saw that those things were happening. So um, pretty crazy beginning of the offseason. But so for the spring game, we have some position battles. Now, first, like I told the guys, I said every position is basically open, but these are some of the ones that we highlighted. Yeah, QB Holton, he's much more highly rated than Reed, but Reed had a heck of an offseason and improvements. And uh, so we're going to see, you know, if Holton, we're going to put a little pressure on Holton. We're going to see if he wants to maintain that job or not. Um, so Holton Ehlers and Reed Herring are going to be battling for uh, the starting spot here. Um, right now Holton does have the experience and he is going to be the lead guy. But Reed is back there. He's a senior and he's going to try to get on the field. Also, we have a halfback. Darius Pinnock Jr. and then Trace Christian. He increased significantly this past year. He, his work ethic in the offseason was pretty amazing so and Darius did not get granted his medical red shirt so we um, will have him for his senior season Trace will be his junior season and like I said there's Tay Williams down there at 221 so he's gonna be a bruiser so we got some big backs we got big backs in this with Demetrius being the smallest out of just under 200 so we'll see what happens there then we also have a slot receiver battle because we lost DeAndre Ferrier. He graduated. Um, Blake and Henley will be our outside receivers. But Tyler, Steve Falk the fourth, and then Josiah Hatfield down here are going to be battling for that inside receiver role. And we'll just have to see who plays the best, who feels the best there. Um, a couple sophomores and a freshman. So they're both, they're all younger guys. Um, but we'll see who we can mold into that area. Then on the line, the only real position battle is going to be at center between Peyton Winstead and Jason Fournette. Jason was the backup last year to Brandon Pena, but Peyton had an awesome offseason, and he actually jumped ahead of him ratings-wise. But you got to be able to prove it on the field, so we'll see what he can do also. Then on the defensive line, basically a right end. Chanan Hickerson was a starter last year, but Travion had a huge offseason. He um, just really worked his butt off, worked a lot. True sophomore this year, and he's going to try to unseat Shannon Hickerson as the starter. So we'll see what happens there. Then at middle linebacker, Xavier Smith was the starter last year. He led the league and led the team in tackles. But Bruce Bivens was his backup. Now, Bruce has worked a little harder than him in the off season and for his senior season he wants to try to start so that battle is going to be happening there it's probably going to be the most heated battle all of spring and summer camp leading into fall camp so we'll see how they do and pretty much what i'm going to do with this is i'm just going to go into practice mode and we're going to run 
15 or so plays with each group of guys and see what we can get going here. We'll select the stadium. We're gonna do the, we'll do an indoor practice field here in the spring. And difficulty will stay the same. We'll start game. We're just gonna do random plays, I think. Okay, so we're gonna do the old spring game, or what we can do with the spring game, given how this game doesn't really have a spring game, but we're gonna do what we can do here. And we're gonna start with the obvious starters. And we're going to, I think there's a way to pick a random play. And it is, it's select. Start that, we're gonna do random. And then we're gonna go against 335 stack. We're gonna do random play on defense too. So we're just gonna to try to see what we can do here. We're gonna run 15 scripted plays here with this combo. And then we're gonna do some uh, taking out of the uh, guys subbing them in and out to mainly for the position battles. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, Holton to Sneed, decent pick. Okay, got looks like single high safety. Oh no, bad, bad choice, bad choice. Screen play here. Holton didn't get it off. Blake with the catch. Nice catch, nice catch. Okay, that's our fourth play. Play number five. Try to fit it in behind him. Oh, just couldn't quite get it there. Couldn't quite get it there, okay. Play number six. Henley. It's ooh, a little run play. See how Darius does here. A little slow, a little slow. Okay, play number eight. Sacked. Oh, man. Okay. Either our defense is going to be really good or we're starting off really slow. Say so play number nine here. Oh, triple coverage. Not a wise choice, Holton. Not a good throw either. Okay. Play number 10. Darius on a... All right. Play number 11. Try a repeat of this one. Oh my god, what kind of throw was that? Not looking good for Holton right now. Nice catch by Henley, though. Holton did put that one wherever he could do it. Um, okay, this is going to be play number 13 of this formation. Single coverage, picked off. Picked off by Juan. By number 15, doing a run play. Okay. So let's change the depth chart up. All right, let's get 
Reed in there. We're going to get Trace in there. Wide receiver, we're going to put... So, Tyler Sneed. We'll give Josai the first chance. And then center, we're going to put in Jason Fournette. And that's it. We'll just worry about offense right now. Okay. So after this play, we'll get... Oh, Blake. I think Blake's going to have a good year this year. He's so smooth with the ball. All right, we got the backups in. Now they get 15 plays here. Not a good pass by Reed. Looks like we're just going to be struggling all over the place with our quarterbacks. All right. Oh, Reed. Adam. Oh my god, Reed just, just throwing the ball right out of the stadium here. Alright, play number four. Just gonna repeat of that one. Not good. Reed is not looking strong right now. Reed, you're not putting it on him at all. This is not looking good. At least Holton was a little closer. Let's play number eight, I think, here. Zach, triple coverage. Okay, play number nine. Let's see if Trace can catch it out of the backfield. That he can. Okay. Completed one pass, that's good. Play number ten. I like Trace. Trace has got a little get-up. Single high safety. Oh, Henley almost had it in between two guys. All right. Play number 12. Josai. Okay. Caught it. Oh my god, that's not even close, Reed. Okay, two more plays for Reed. See if Reed can make a player. This is pathetic. Okay. So, that was interesting. So I think right now what we see from the spring game is Holton's got to be the guy. So I want to give these other guys just as good of an opportunity. So we'll put, instead of Josiah in there, we're going to put Steve. And... Halfback. We'll keep Trace in there since... Okay. From one more play. Oh, he fumbled. Ooh. Trace has a fumble in the spring game? That's not good. That's not good. Let's pick a new play. Let's pick a new play. Let's pick a new play. Okay. Right now, the other guys haven't been... Uh, completely changed yet um we as far as the uh guys being edited and everything we'll still have to do that but we will uh figure that out we'll figure it out This is going to be tough sledding, or our defense is very good. One of the two. Because <laughs> right now, we're not looking that great. Wow, Holton really missed him there. What the heck is going on here? Okay, 
Okay, so Trace had a fumble. Darius. Let's see if we can get some plays here. What is going on here? No one can complete anything right now. What the hell's going on here? Holton, though. He can run it. That's the one thing that I like about him. Which is why he's going to win the battle. Looks like... Didn't like that fumble by Trace. We can't give the ball up like that. Okay, though, Trace. Just got to work on your ball security. We are really running the ball now. Get him some carries. See if he fumbles again. I don't blame him. I don't blame it. Zach. Nice defense by Daniel Charles. I think their defense is pretty decent. Zach couldn't hit it over him. Okay, we have two more plays here. Blake. Oh, picked off again. Daniel Charles is everywhere out there. I'll try to get a ball to Steve so that I can see if he can catch. Oh, broken up again. Mar Swain is playing pretty well out there. Trace, come on. All right. Two more plays here. I'm throwing to Steve. See if you can get a catch. All right, so pretty much it's pretty even as far as wide receiver wise. I do like Jason Fournette a little better at uh, center. Haven't had as much. Wow, I mean these guys can't throw the ball. I don't know what's going on here. We are having a tough spring game. Trace, catch it. Okay. So I think. We got what we need here. Let's see. Steve is going to run the ball here. Hold on. Hold on. He can break some tackles. My man. My son. All right. Look at him go. Tell you what. As a different dimension, could he be the second coming of the Jet Sweep Man? Try to see what the center is doing. Yep, saw that coming. Trying to watch the center here. Oh no, fumble. And Hickerson all over it. Tell you what, that center is doing good. Doing well. So right now, I'm thinking Holton's got to be the starter, even though both quarterbacks are not, not looking very, very good. And Juan Powell has made some plays. we got to watch out for him next spring game. But right now, I'm thinking that is going to be the starter. I do like Jason Fournette at center. Right now, that's where I like. I like him at center. And I'm thinking probably Tyler Sneed at the at the um, slot receiver right now. But Steve Falk the fourth might be right behind him. That was not a good play call, Holton. All right. So I think we got some of the answers out there by running a couple of those uh, plays there. So we'll take that information into um, the summer, summer camp and summer sessions. And we also have to edit some ratings down here um, as...
or not ratings, but we have to edit uh, our freshmen coming in. So we have to adjust some of their equipment, see what we like. See what we like out of these guys. So we're gonna start with, start with tight end. We have two new tight ends here. So we're going to figure out what number we want him to be. Let's see, 82 we have him as, ooh, he comes in. He wants to protect himself, okay. 87, 89, 90 as a tight end, huh? Number one's available. I don't think that's right, I'm not giving him that number. Try to give him a number, I think he, Butler, like the boss, going 36. I think that's what number he's getting. Appearance, that's all good. Standard three bar running back. It's fine, except I'm gonna make that air XP. And okay with that. Bowser, you probably won't have that shoulder pad height. We're gonna do 10, let's sleeve, we're gonna make those sleeve standard, we're gonna sleeve tight. Because we don't like those guys looking weird as shit. Um That's fine if he doesn't want to wear any elbow pad white, we're gonna go. Have sweatbands if he wants, but I'm not taking those elbow pads. Left hand, he definitely needs. Alright. So that's Brandon so far. Keep that the same. Looks like he has some ankles issues, but we're definitely going to give him, um, I think that should be it there. So we'll give him that, and that'll be Brandon. I might go a little lower on the sweatbands here, because he likes... Let's go thin. And I'll be Brandon. And skills I'm not adjusting because that's how he came in as. That's what we got to deal with. All right. And then we have Demarcus Cannon. See what he's set up as. 86, huh? I don't hate it. You can have that, that's fine. Alright, so they're giving him the standard with this. We're gonna go different. We're gonna go revolution. Or speed. Throw speed. Speed Robot 2 here. Okay. And then Visor. Some Nike one. And that's fine with the sleeves. I'm okay with that. That's what he wants. That's fine. We'll give him a wrist. Let's give him a black wristband. And the glove a little bit. Right. Ankle braces, we're gonna say none. The other guy had both ankle braces. Socks will go high. 
We'll go low cut. Flak jacket. I'll give him a flak jacket. Bulkier guy. Cannon. In the towel. Okay. So that's what Marcus is gonna be. We'll just edit the offense here. Um, we do have a fullback that was a walk-on. We just want to make sure these guys don't have stupid helmets and stuff. Fullback number 39 or 29. Huh? Let's see. I don't like it. Give him a number. We don't really like because we don't really play fullbacks. Forty-eight. If that's not a fullback number, I don't know what is. As far as renaming these guys, I mean, I don't think any of these ones should be changed. I'm pretty good with their names. I'm just not going to deal with names that are stupid. Then I'll change them out. But I think all the ones I, what's it called, I. Uh, Recruited or they sign. I think they'll be fine. Okay. So we're gonna go thin with that. And left wrist. It's fine, we'll just go taped glove normal white. Give him the gloves, that's fine. That's fine, we'll give him a back plate. Then we also are going to change this shit. Fullback, what is a fullback gonna do for me? We give him the robot running back, and I think we'll give him a dark Nike visor. No, he's not that badass. We'll just leave it plain. Okay, so that. I think we have one more signee on offense. I think it's an offense alignment. We're looking for Brandon Potts. There he is. Let's see, what number will he get? 78. It's okay. It's okay. Definitely not like in the face mask. It's not even close to being cool. We'll go Revo Speed. Speed three bar linebacker visor none. Go pad height down to ten. We're gonna go half sleeve. Go team color. Let's mix it up a little bit. Sleeve tight is fine. That's a line and that's fine. Make bicep band. White bands there. Okay, socks. Go low cut, low cut, low cut. Okay. I don't like the bands. So that's Brandon Potts here. All right. So we edited our offensive players, and we also played the spring game. We got some information there, and we were able to make some decisions for going into um, summer summer camp. So 
I will document that stuff up. And the next episode, we'll do the defensive guys. We'll edit those guys. And we'll talk about, see if we have any suspensions or anything leading into the next season. And then we can finally get through with the start of the season. We'll set up our schedule and our depth chart once summer camp closes out. So thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you next time.